Your two most common water pipes are the PVC pipe and the copper tubing. And I'm sawing this PVC pipe with a hacksaw. This is a great tool to have because it has many uses. You can cut most anything with a hacksaw. You can cut the PVC pipe, you can cut the copper tubing, or most anything that you need to. But you can see that it takes just a little bit of effort to use. And look at this mess that I need to clean up before I can make a connection. This tool is called a plastic pipe cutter and it was designed just to cut pipe with. Now let me show you the difference. It takes a lot less effort to use. It's quicker. And look at that nice clean cut. To cut copper tubing, you can use a hacksaw and it would work, but why not use the best tool for the job, which is this tool. And this is called a tubing cutter. What you want to do is place your tubing in between these two rollers just like this. And what's nice about this tool is it's a whole lot faster and easier to use. Now once you get that in position, you just want to tighten this enough so that it's holding on. If you get it too tight in the beginning, it won't go around. What you're doing is you're going around once, tightening it a little bit, going around, and you're tightening it every time just a little bit after you've gone around, and you can see what a nice clean cut that gave. Now once you get that cut, you need to use this blade on your tool to clean out the burrs, like this. After you get this cut, you need to clean it because copper oxidizes. So let's move this PVC pipe out of the way. And I'm going to put this in the vise and show you a couple of different ways we can clean this tubing. You can spend just a few dollars and buy some emery cloth. And what you need is just a small piece to clean your tubing, just like this. And while that does work, you also need to clean the inside of your fitting as well. But to clean the inside of this with this emery cloth is just a little bit tricky, and it doesn't work quite as well as a wire brush. And they make these in all different sizes to fit your tubings. So you use this to clean out the inside of your fitting, okay? And then, this wire brush you can use for the outside. See how easy it is to clean that? But let me show you something even better. How about this tool? This is a four in one. This has your half inch and your three quarter inch, the outside of your tubings and the inside. So why not use this one tool instead of having to keep up with all four? There are a few more materials and tools you need to make your joint watertight. You need some solder, some soldering flux, and you need a torch. Now when you're using a torch, just use common sense. Always be aware where the nozzle is. Don't ever point it at your face or at someone else. And it's a good idea to wear safety goggles as well. The key to soldering is the soldering flux. You need to make sure that you get a good even coat all the way around your tubing. Because if you don't, your soldering won't adhere. Also, you need to put some of this flux inside your fitting. And again, make sure you go all the way around with it. So we're going to put this on. And on your solder, pull it out so you have yourself enough length to work with. And if you'll bend it up at the end, that'll make it a lot easier. The way to use your torch is you want to heat one side of your tubing and when it's heated enough, you can place your solder right under the joint and it should draw it up into the tubing. And then just put a little bit on the other side and a little bit goes a long way. A lot of people make the mistake of putting too much solder but you just need a little bit and it does go all the way around the tubing to adhere.